What's up, everyone? We are in Los Angeles, California. LA. LA, otherwise known as Tinseltown, home of movies, celebrities, singers, actresses, and beauty. Yes, yes. We are going to meet an ex-Georgian beauty queen. Her name's Jenna Sims, and she actually started a beauty pageant for kids who were sick with cancer. So it'll probably be an uplifting next couple of days. Jenna. Hey, I'm Jenna. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hi, I'm Ethan. Come on in. All right. Welcome Thank to you. My I'm mom. Hi. I'm Jennifer. Yes. Yeah. Really confused. So can we sit and have a have yes. a chat with you? Come on down. Hey. So what you got going on? So I hold pageants for kids with cancer and kids with disabilities or terminal illnesses that wouldn't normally compete in a pageant. It takes like a really intuitive young girl to say, I want to do something about this. What made you do that? In 2000, I lost both my grandfathers with cancer. Mm. How, well, how old were you when your grandparents passed away from cancer? I was 10. Instantly, I just decided I wanted to do something because I didn't want to see anyone else suffer like they did. So what so, made you come up with the idea to do pageants? I started pageants when I was 15. I was the 2007 Miss Georgia Teen USA, and I basically just combined two things I was really passionate about. And so I created HBBQ's Inc., which stands for Has Been Beauty Queen, and we hold the pageant of hope. I held 10 pageants, including South Africa, I've been to Cuba, and some really cool places. Wow. With it. I've crowned probably 800 kids. Our motto is touch each child one tiara at a time. Basically, like what makes my pageant so different is that every child leaves as a winner. We crown everyone like best hair, best dress, most confident. I mean, the whole point is just really just take their mind off of the hospital and whatever they're facing in their lives and just make them feel like a prince or a princess for a day. How do you find the kids that are in the pageant? In LA, um, I just went around to the different hospitals. I went around to UCLA, Children's, Ron McDonald. You get pictures of them and bios and stuff to read a review. Yeah, yeah. we do have two like really special ones that sort of caught my attention. Monica and Brianna, they are sisters and one of them has like a really rare um, heart problem and the other one has really bad arthritis and I even think she has to have chemo. They were really shy at first so I think if we you know, got in touch with them beforehand they'd really just be yeah. and be ready to do it tomorrow. That'd be really great. That'd be That'd really be I would love that. So you got a pageant tomorrow, <laughs> of course. And is everything organized, ready to go? For the most part, <laughs> y'all have dazzling personalities. We would love to see y'all maybe MC on stage for a little. Oh, that would that'd be, be fun. fun. That I'd like to that'd do. That'd be great. Yeah. We're on our way to Joe's, my buddy the photographer, and you know, Jenna S was telling us about these, you know, two little girls, Brianna and Monica, who are just going through a really rough time right now. So I thought it might be pretty cool if we organize a little like photo shoot. This is so great. I'm excited. All right. Hey, oh my gosh, so nice to meet you. I'm Jenna. Hello. You must you're Monica and you're Brianna. Today is truly all about just having fun and being a kid. Just totally taking their mind off of everything and just letting loose. It is kind of a big deal to be up on stage and be front of, in front of strangers and your loved ones. So I think being able to get their hair and makeup done, they're gonna feel really beautiful. So tomorrow they're gonna be ready to show off like this new conference. Has it been like a long, a long road for you guys? When's the last time that you did something for yourself? Mm -hmm. You can't remember? No. It's been that no. long. I think that's going to be my day. Just seeing them get dressed up and walk and... That's your day? That's my day. Really? That'll... That must be incredible to hear that. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. I think, you know, when Beatrice just said, you know, that she doesn't have time for herself and that, that my pageant was providing that, that's what really hit home. And you're so welcome. It's nice to know that I'm doing this for the kids, but for the parents, it means a lot to me as well. Hi, guys. Hi. Ready? Imaginary drum roll. So, ta -da. Come on out, guys. Come on out. Oh, <laughs> Look at their smiles. Oh, yeah, you look so good. You can't beat you guys that look smile. Great. You look beautiful. You guys ready to get your pictures taken now? Yeah. Have fun. All right. Put your hand on your hip like that, yep. I love it. Awesome. 
Cool, yeah, that looks fun. Yeah! I'm so happy to see my girls uh, smiling and doing their thing and just forgetting about everything. I can't wait to see them tomorrow. High five, Woo! mom. High Good five. job, guys! It's, it's a wrap, everyone! outside those doors. We got a bunch of kids, they're ready to come in. Let's get this party started. Let's walk you guys over to makeup. She's gonna go get her hair done. You look like a king today. Oh, beautiful. I feel like a princess. And when we get to the end, make sure you smile for the camera and you're doing thumbs up. Today we're here for our sister Brittany, who's in a wheelchair. She had a stroke when she was about one years old. This is actually her first pageant, so this is an incredible experience for all of us. We're just really excited. This is it. Pageant of Hope is about to start. Welcome to the California Pageant of Hope. We're going to have a great time today. Thank you all so much. First, we have Jasmine. She's a one-year-old whose favorite color is pink. Her favorite superhero is her dad. <laughs> Tyler is from Victorville, California. He's got a big heart and anyone who meets him just wants to hug him all day, and I would agree. <laughs> this is awesome. Every kid gets to walk out there with a has-been beauty queen. They're smiling, they're laughing. They're just having a great time. Rihanna just went on stage and she's doing incredible. I'm very happy to see my girls just being happy. It's just amazing. Our next contestant is Monica. Oh. You look out in the crowd and you see the parents' faces. This pageant of hope is doing exactly that. It's giving hope. You can feel it in the room. This is the best part of it all. All the kids took their walk on stage. Now it's time to do the crowning. So first off, we have Most Adorable. And that goes to Jasmine. This is so great. Like every kid is going home a winner and they're smiling and they're looking for their seats and their parents are just and they're smiling and they're beaming. That's what it's all about. We are gonna crown our 2011 Prince of Hope and Mr. Suave. Brock. I truly think that we accomplished one of our main goals, which was making these kids just forget about the challenges that they're facing. And they felt like princesses and princes for a day. To see more Everyday Health, subscribe or watch another episode right now. And check out Daily Dose with Jillian Michaels, where Jillian gives you a piece of her mind every day.